computer has grown more and more powerful, things changed rather dramatically. It could make real predictions. We could do cr automobiles crashing. We could do airplanes flying. Um, we could start to really model manufacturing processes. We also became more and more interested in using computations to actually make predictions on which policy could be based. Notre Dame has played an important role in computations for a long time. Uh, some of the um, proponents of uncertainty quantification uh, were graduate students at Notre Dame. Pat Rauch wrote one of the first textbooks on computational fluid mechanics, as well as Bill Oberkamp. Uh, we're both graduate students here and have played a very prominent role in promoting those ideas, um, including at the national laboratories. Given sort of the new faculty positions that we um, have, as well as, as um, how we will rehire in faculty as people retire, I think we will double the number of people who are engaged in computational modeling uh, in the next few years. Carol Matus is one of our emerging leaders. Uh, his research expertise is really in trying to predict the, uh, the effect of microstructure of materials on larger scale behavior of materials. He's really one of the pioneers in applying some of these big data techniques that are now so popular in other areas uh, to bridging the scales in computational modeling of materials. In our research, uh, we are uh, looking at understanding both uh, current materials that we already uh, know how to make and uh, how to create, but we are also looking at processes and, on, and conditions uh, under which new materials can be created, or uh, conditions and processes that we can use to create materials uh, more quickly, cheaply, uh, economically. And we are doing that through combining both uh, powers, of, powers of very large computers and uh, experimental techniques that help us and guide us in the computational design. Uh, predictive science is very important because variety of things that we are looking at uh, we cannot test and that's where power of predictions is uh, very important. At the CIS Forum uh, Center we are using predictive simulations uh, for modeling of shock synthesis. Uh, one of the uh, special aspects that we are doing is using uh, novel uh, uh, programming uh, paradigms uh, that is steaming from colleagues from Indian University uh, and is based on the parallax uh, programming model called HPX. One of the nice things uh, being a, a small private research university is our ability to quickly react to the changing environment. Computational science and engineering has a long history and tradition at Notre Dame by uh, being able to establish uh, the Seas Forum Center. We are uh, now poised and looking forward uh, to uh, making Notre Dame a place where new and exciting research in computational science and engineering can take place. The person in computer science that we have worked probably closest with is uh, Peter Kocky. He's a builder and inventor of computers. He has been recognized for his work in many different ways. Uh, and he has been very close uh, part of the PSAP Center. Well, I'm, I'm a computer architect. I like to build computers. Uh, the C-Swarm Center, for example, and their uh, big shock physics codes are different kinds of codes than we've had in the past. And, and so what I'm interested in is uh, how do you build computers that will in fact do such problems well. I probably don't approach building new computers different than I did before, but I probably do it a little differently than most other people. I've always looked at simpler ways of doing similar things, but get to the, the same result perhaps more elegantly and overall more quickly. And that in fact led to something that I, I did uh, with Cray, uh, a supercomputing company, where we now patented uh, an idea for having uh, programs move around rather than sit in, in a, a processor. And that actually led to a startup that I have over at Innovation Park where we've actually built a prototype of that machine and uh, hope to have a product in the near future. We have a number of very distinguished people as part of the computational team here at Notre Dame. Uh, Johannes Westerling is really uh, one of the nation's uh, leading experts in using computational tools to predict uh, the effects of, of natural disasters uh, and how to respond to them. 
Uh, his tools to predict the effects of, of hurricanes, for example, are now used by a number of uh, agencies to actually help uh, prepare for such events. So what we study is the, the uh, hydrodynamics or fluid mechanics and transport of the coastal ocean. Some of the really pertinent problems are both pollution and flooding. These waves and storm surges impinge on the coastal zone. And trying to combine all that physics and uh, get a calculation that is very predictive is a very intensive computational problem. It requires the multi-physics to be integrated, uh, all the way from shallow water equations to non-phase resolving wave equations to phase resolving wave equations, which have a non-hydrostatic component and to then resolve all that numerically at very high scales, yet paying a lot of attention to what's driving those, and those are the large-scale processes in the ocean. Aerospace and mechanical computer science applied uh, math, they're all kind of in this fold where we start bringing in expertise to solve specific problems. Many of the problems in biology require good computations and good fluid mechanics, for example. The Environmental Change Initiative has been great uh, in terms of uh, helping initiate and now synergize in an enormous way. It's also a university where we can really do things. When you have a great idea and you, you bring it forward, um, there's a good chance that there's going to be a lot of support for it. Problems of the future are going to be this multidisciplinary problems where we have to do large-scale computations uh, and I think we have to appreciate this um, need to be sort of cognizant with, with lots of different disciplines and able to uh, appreciate and, and interact with people from different uh, backgrounds. The University of Notre Dame has already um, shown by its investment decisions uh, in computational science and engineering that, that uh, the institution understands where the field is going. Uh, we have to do problems that are relevant to important parts of society and problems really that will help us deal with, with challenges um, of, uh, the, that the next generation has to face.